The Last City Z is about Percy Fawcett, an explorer, kind of the last of his kind, who would venture into areas, these kind of blank spots on the map, but little more than a machete and a compass. My perception of Percy is that he was every bit as heroic and swashbuckling as any of the characters that he inspired, be it Indiana Jones or anyone else. That he had disappeared looking for this lost civilization. I call it Zed, the ultimate piece of the human puzzle that generated what was then known as the greatest exploration mystery of the 20th century. It inspired people to go in search of Fawcett, many of whom died and disappeared as well. I tracked down Fawcett's granddaughter, who lived in Cardiff, Wales. And at one point, she looked at me and said, you want to know what really happened to my grandfather? And I said, well, sure. And she opened up this old chest. Inside were these old books. I said, what are they? She said, well, they are my grandfather's old secret diaries and log books. And these held enormous clues, not only to who Fawcett was as a person, but also where he had likely gone on his expedition in search of Z. And it was at that point when I decided very foolishly to go on my own search. Half the book is contemporary. I mean, it's David Grant walking in Fawcett's footsteps. The world will know what we have found here. There was deep skepticism because of prejudices toward Native Americans. Whites in Western Europe, they saw themselves as superior. Are you insisting that these savages, they are equals? I do not know, Mr. Barclay, but I intend to find out. He was a tremendously enigmatic figure. He was also progressive and ultimately had a great sympathy for the indigenous people. After serving time in World War I, the English establishment regarded him as kind of shell-shocked, insane. If the year is 1905, if you had said you're going to the Amazon jungle, it would be like saying today we're going to be going to Mars. We say it with awe. It's interesting because reading the book, you realize the sheer scale of what they went through as men. By the time Fawcett went in search of his expedition, most scientists had concluded that the jungle, the Amazon, though it seems like this plentiful place with lots of rich trees and plants, because of the predators, because of the mosquitoes that transported disease, it was what they called a counterfeit paradise, that it couldn't support humans or large human populations. Fawcett channeled that search for meaning into achievement as he started to spend more time in the Amazon and become really excited about the possibility of a complex ancient civilization that existed there. This was a project which I thought was so cinematic, was so visual, had such an arc and a human saga that I thought would make a great film. And I think the book and the movie complement each other wonderfully, and I hope people will go from one to the other.